and about a lot of freshmen think he hates them. Yes, sir. But those that embrace him do pretty well. You yes, embraced sir. him, didn't you? Yes, sir. Talk about Ken Manny, what he means to you already. Uh, Coach Manny, he, I like his spirit because most people like who are strength and conditioning coaches, all they do is probably yell profanities at you or just put you down, but he uplifts you. And when we get done as a unit, he always gives us words of motivation and then we say a prayer. And that meant a lot to me because I'm coming from a family who's strong on faith. So that that was key. Talk if you would, D'Antonio said you made some plays today. What'd you do? Yes, sir. Um, we were doing the red zone package um, and I really don't know what happened. I heard, saw the ball snap. Push the offensive lineman back. I saw the running back and quarterback right there. I can't hit the run, the quarterback, so I, saw, I waited until he handed the ball off. Then I just hit the quarterback a couple of times. But what was the reaction? Hooting and uh, hollering from your teammates? Where'd you hear? Yeah, they were hooting and hollering. I was just trying to get back to the um, the huddle before the curse start, probably yelling at us. But you understand, you're not dumb, you're not. You're a yes, smart sir. person. For a freshman to make plays that get the team hooting and hollering, yes, sir. that's rare. You you are out here. How many other freshmen have done that? Um, it's been a couple, but it, it's extremely rare. So for you, do you feel like you're making your presence known? Feel like you're making an impact? Yes, sir, but I can't I can't get complacent. I just have to keep on building up and getting better. Last question for you, yes, sir. Enoch, but when you how camp's going, is it everything you thought it would be? Is how's it different? Um it's more than what I thought it would be. Um I knew that the offense alignment would be strong, but I didn't know that they were going to be that strong. So coming off the ball, I have to use more power, more leverage to get underneath them. Otherwise, I'll be going, I'll be either on my back or going down the field the wrong way. You're used to being the big dog, and that isn't yes, the kids sir. anymore. You're... Uh, not, a, not at all. I'm one of the smaller guys. One other question I like. Yes, sir. That drill, the tennis ball drill today when you beat Heat. Oh, yes, sir. And Coach Burton started yelling, oh, that's a freshman beating a starter. Yes, sir. You're out here competing. You don't care who the starter is. Uh, not at all. It could be Shalik. It could be Marcus Rush. That's what they tell us every day. They want us to challenge them to get them better and make us better as well. How do you like the fact that on this team you can beat a Joel Eaton? And I saw him turn right around, and he's coaching the fact that yes, he's sir. one team. How much do you like that? Oh, uh, yeah. Is it I'm very appreciative of that because some guys, get, they can get full of themselves and not even worry about the smaller guys. But the fact that they're doing that, it just shows that we're actually a team and a family and we're all striving to accomplish one goal. You look good, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good to see you. You as well. Hey, man. Sap, how you doing? Enoch, nice to meet you. That's actually my middle name. Sap? Yes, sir. Oh, nice. Well, uh, how's your first uh, couple practices with Coach D, Ben? You know, what's your first impression of him? Man, Coach, Coach D, he's... He's quiet, but once you see him and he actually starts talking, you'd be like, wow, I never knew that he actually talked like that. But Coach D, I, I love his spirit. He, he's, actually, he's really engaged with the team. He, he knows what he wants, and he goes get it. Have any uh, fellow freshmen stuck out in your head to you over the last couple of practices? Yeah, the ones that I focus on are the one on the defensive line. So I'll have to focus in on Malik McDowell, Craig Evans, um, Montez Sweat, um, Robert Bowers. I don't want to leave anybody out. Um, Dylan Alexander's, um, David Beadle, all of them are opening my eyes and we're all learning from each other and focusing on the small things to ultimately take somebody's spot, which we're all trying to do. Have you had that freshman moment yet where you kind of realize that this isn't high school uh, football anymore? Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> the first day we were in shoulder pads, um, I was going up against one of the starters. The first snap, they drove me back a couple yards. I was like, wow, I wasn't expecting that. So Coach Burton and Coach Narduzzi, they were talking to me. So the next snap, I got underneath him. I pushed him back, straightened out my arms, and I pushed him back like three or four yards, made running back, cut back in. So that was a plus. Who was it? Uh, one of the guards? I, yes, it was one of the guards, but I can't, I can't tell you what number because I wasn't focusing on that. I was focusing on doing my job, but otherwise I was going to have an ear for You're playing three then? All, yes, sir. All three technique? Yes, sir. Yeah. So what, what do you talk about with Malik and the other freshmen right now? I mean, is it about what you guys thought it would be, or is it a little bit eye-opening right we now? We talk about everything. Um, what we thought it was going to be, what it actually is, our playbook, what we need to work on individually, um, when we do stunts, whatever it is, we all talk and we all come together. So what, what is your assessment? Is it, is it shocking right now, or, or you know? Um, it, at it first it, it was shocking, but now we're getting accustomed to it and just uplifting one another. When somebody gets down, we just try to pick them back up. What's the most difficult part of camp so far? Um, the speed and the heat and staying focused because you, at one moment you're like, oh my goodness, it's so hot. The next moment you're like, oh snap, they're calling my name. So just staying focused and just getting accustomed to the speed of everything. Um, right now it's Marcus Rush. I mean, it's a pretty good resource. Oh, yes, sir. Um, whatever I ask him, um, he's very informative, especially in the meeting room. He um, he tap me, give me some pointers. But whatever you ask of him, he helps you out and he gives you some some more.